welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a review and demo on the Voluminous Feline Mascara by L'Oreal. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about this mascara and seeing how it applies, then just keep on watching. So the Voluminous Feline Mascara was released by L'Oreal probably early this fall. And this is their new mascara and I really, really like L'Oreal mascaras. The Voluminous and the Butterfly Effect are both favorites of mine from the drugstore. So I definitely wanted to check this out. And this has more volumizing claims. It says it has instant volume, full lash density, and also quick charge brush. And that reminded me a lot of my favorite high-end mascara or one of my favorites, which is the Fully Charged by Pure. I find out that these brushes are pretty similar, so I was excited to see how this ended up working out and I definitely wanted to see if this was like a drugstore dupe to one of my favorite high-end mascaras. This is my favorite high-end volumizing mascara because it does separate your lashes really nicely. So I find that the brushes are really similar. They're both like thick brushes that have really short bristles to them. So I was hoping this would be a mascara that would give my lashes a lot of volume. My lashes definitely need volume, thickness, curl, everything. But I wanted to see if this would be a good volumizing mascara because usually I start off with a lengthening mascara and then I apply a volumizing mascara on top. And then I'm gonna demo this and I'm just using this mascara in the demo on my top and bottom lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the demo so you guys see how this actually applied on my lashes. All right, so my lashes are curled and you guys probably can't even see them because they are really short and really thin. So I always need a very volumizing and lengthening mascara. This has been good for volume because it has a really thick wand. It's not so good for length because usually like thinner wands are good for length. So I'm still in the process of finding an all around great mascara, especially for like really short really thin lashes. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but I'm going to apply this on my top and bottom lashes. You can see like the wand is pretty thick and it's a silicone based wand. All right, so can you guys see a difference already with one coat of mascara on this eye versus this one? I think it at least looks more black. I don't know if you can see like volume because I can still see that it's pretty short. So I'm going to apply the first coat on to these lashes. Alright, so that's one coat of mascara and I can definitely see a difference. I'm sure you guys can as well. And this mascara is getting like a little clumpy at the edges a little bit. But I don't mind so much as long as I get the volume. So I'm going to go in with the second coat. So that's two coats on both eyes and that's all I'm going to do on my top lashes. If I look down, like I can see a pretty dramatic difference. I don't know if you guys can see if I like look up and you can see the root of my lashes. They just look a lot thicker. I think when I look down and you guys can see it a little bit maybe that they do look thicker. But this does not curl your lashes because it's a straight wand and I don't find that mascaras that have straight wands really add to any curl. So I'm just going to move into my bottom lashes and I'm also going to do two coats on my bottom lashes. So can you guys tell already with just one coat they look like spidery and sometimes I like that. It could be like a good kind of spidery or a bad kind where it's all clumpy. So I'm just going to try to separate them out a little bit. I feel like that's a lot of thickness to my lower lash line. I don't know if I've really been using this mascara for my lower lash line. I've been using it for like a good week on my top lashes. But I think this is a really good result for my lower lashes. The only thing I don't like is that the wand is so thick. So you have to be really careful because you can get it like all over the place. It's not ideal for lower lashes. I have to be like super precise. But the result is there. Like you can really see my lower lashes. It's just like application can be a little bit messy. All right, so I have been using this mascara for about a week now. I've been using it under falsies and also on its own without any other mascara layered. And I really like this for volume. I want to start using it with another mascara because I find that it doesn't give me the length that I need. And this does actually hold a curl. If I apply lashes on top, it's not going to like leave my lashes curled because of course I'm applying like something that's weighing my eyes down on top of it. But when I wear this on its own, I do find that the curl does last throughout the day. And what I really like about this is that it does not give me any fallout. And that's something I find with like the Better Than Sex mascara. A lot of volumizing mascaras that 
can leave your lashes a little bit clumpy, end up giving you a lot of fallout throughout the day because your lashes, you just have a, like a lot of product on your lashes. So this does not give me any fallout anytime that I've been wearing this mascara. So that's definitely a plus. The only downside for me is definitely the brush. And that's kind of like a hit or miss because the brush is what makes it give me good volume. But I just wish that this brush would come to like a more precise point so I can get like in the inner corners and I could use that on my lower lashes a little bit better. I do find that the one is a little too thick and I think that also stops it from like giving me curl on its own. I definitely recommend curling your lashes before using this mascara. This isn't a brush that like helps curl your lashes at all. It's strictly just for volume. So it definitely does everything it claims. It lasts all day. It doesn't clump up. So it's a good option from the drugstore. It is a good volumizing mascara if you need length or you need curl. I definitely recommend other mascaras like the Lash Sensational is awesome for curl and length. So I'll probably use that with this to get like the ideal lash for my natural lashes. So overall, if you need a volumizing mascara from the drugstore, this is definitely a good pick. I got the shade Black is Black. I always get the darkest shade, and I really like it. I think it still looks really natural. It doesn't look like grayish or anything like that. All right, guys, so that's everything for today's video. Please let me know if you've tried out this mascara in the comments down below or just what your favorite drugstore mascara is as well. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.